Good morning everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to a beautiful morning on the Finca. Um, we have clear blue skies which is what we would expect here. Um, we noticed we've changed our table outside. Um, I made this actually a while ago. Um, <laughs> but the one we had here we've actually put upstairs in the apartment. If you remember yesterday we put the fireplace in the fire in and it's all working well because um, it was really cold um, a couple of nights Monday. ago. Monday. Monday was it, yeah. All day we don't know what day it is. cold and Monday night was very, very cold. So that was a bit of a, um, a warning, um, a, a clue as to what's coming. It's, yeah. You know, winter is on its way. Um, last night it was 20 degrees in the apartment. We didn't light the fire. No, we didn't need it after all that. <laughs> but it's there ready. It was 20 degrees in the apartment when we went to bed. It fell to 12.4 overnight and it was still 19 degrees in the apartment this morning yeah. um, which is fantastic news you know it's obviously a good thermal mass yeah. it's holding its heat well yeah. so we're very happy about that we are indeed what else are we happy about very happy about the olives um, oh yes <laughs> the jar that we did last week the first one that we tried with the caustic soda and then we've been rinsing it daily um, rinsed it again this morning the water ran clear which kind of told us they might be ready so we tasted one oh, and yeah. albeit that you know the there's, there's lacking flavour because they've not been in brine yet with garlic and herbs and vinegar and salt. Um, <coughs> but the texture is absolutely perfect. We just have to eat them all. Yeah. Good job. Look at them, we've got 11 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> 12 kilos with the 12 original with that one. jar. Yeah. yeah. So today I'm going to make the brine for that first jar. Um, the ones that we've got in the bucket, we rinsed them yesterday after about seven hours. Um, the water was bright green, I mean yes. really really green because there are so many olives in there obviously. Uh, we're not wasting the water, we carried the bucket up to the compost heap because we're supposed to water that anyway and we're not very good at doing that, we forget. So uh -huh. We poured the uh, the water from the olives onto the compost so it's all being it's, reused. It's going to be getting excellent. a bit because we've got to change it. We've got two, to do it three, again. Two yeah. to three times a day now again what we're doing with the stuff in the jar we're, which oh, is working goodness. really well, I know. Um, we're just mirroring that with our industrial size bucket production of them. <laughs> um, so, and it's so far so good. So, yes, well, um, that's that's your job today. That's isn't my it? job today. So, in the olives, the olives. Now, I'll have to help you carry it up there, you the will. big one. But, yes. um, and then making the brine. So, we're going to show you how to make brine. And um, I'm going to carry on with the ceiling. You know, we couldn't pick up the fence for the. This fly. There's only one, he's like, he's, he's <laughs> on, omnipotent. Um, yeah, we we need to get on with the apartment now as well. We, we couldn't collect the fence for the, the stable room. Um, it should be there, did it say Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. Like, so it could be, it could be at 6, 7 o'clock tonight. So we're going to go tomorrow morning and pick that up. Um, first job probably. And then we can crack on. But I'm going to carry on with the ceiling. Um, carry on, yeah. Not the easiest ceiling in the world if you've seen the previous videos, um, but we're going to keep progressing with that because they say it is getting warmer. Even we've got somewhere we can sit, and um, we'd like it to be a bit more comfortable and cleaner and nicer. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's all go. So, well, enough talking. Shall we crack, <laughs> crack on? on. Twenty plus kilos of olives and things, and don't, hopefully you can see the colour of this. We don't need to take the lid off to um, drain it. There we go. Oh, look at that! <laughs> That's the first fresh water rinse. That. Hopefully it'll be good for our compost. Well, nothing else has worked for it yet, so. <laughs> I think that's about it. Have a look. A little bit more there. So we'll get this emptied, take it back, fill it up again, and then repeat the process well, two or three times a day for the next um, two or three days. Back at the ranch, we're just replenishing now that water, so we need another seven litres into the olives. Um, when we've done that, 
to stop them floating we've been putting this plate on the top seems to be working just to keep, make sure we keep the olives under the water because we don't want any floating on the surface and we leave that now for another three hours and then repeat the process here we are then in the kitchen these are our beautiful olives those of you that haven't seen the previous video we cured them in lye solution which is caustic soda and water believe it or not for about seven hours and then daily we've been rinsing them off with clear fresh water um, basically until the water ran clear which it did this morning so we thought time to crack on and make some brine so what do we need to make the brine? Well, we need a litre of water, 100 grams of sea salt, I'll just weigh that, oh, slightly too much, perfect. We add that to the water, and then 250 ml of white wine vinegar and that basically is your brine mix um, you bring that just to the boil and then switch it off but whatever else you want to put in is entirely up to you so we like to use our own produce and uh, around here we've got rosemary growing in our herb garden so we're going to add some rosemary um, loads of this stuff just growing wild which I think Andy showed you on a previous video when we first picked the olives this is fennel and um, to be honest I didn't know what to do with it so we've not used any before but again our wonderful neighbour farmer told us to just take off the young stalks and to pick the seeds and my goodness me I wish you could smell this if you just rub the seeds they're just absolutely stunningly gorgeous so we thought we've got it let's use it in here I've taken off the seeds put into water so that any scummy floats to the top we just got the seeds in the bottom there and then I'm going to just add a few of the stalks as well just straight into the the brine um, and garlic now normally we grow our own garlic but we didn't grow enough this year so we've, we've run out so this is shop bought but it is organic and I'm going to get my trusty assistant in, to chop it for me very fine in a minute because I'm rubbish and so then basically it all goes in to your basic brine solution as I said you put it on the stove and bring it just to the boil and then switch it off let it go cool and then put your olives in the jar, pour the solution over the olives to make sure they're fully covered and then, trick of the trade, a bit of olive oil just to seal the top so that you don't get any air because that will make your olives go off um, and as I say last time when we did our green olives they were absolutely delicious but they didn't keep and we did get a furry scum on top of the jar after only about three months well they should technically keep for a year in the fridge um, so olive oil trick of the trade let's try it let's do it so there we go it's all ready put the lid on just bring it to the boil should be delicious so that's it the brine's in the olives are done and um, just going to pour some olive oil now on the top to seal any air that should do it and now we leave it for four to six weeks and they should be ready to eat excellent so I'm working on the 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 hayloft ceiling. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it then. Um, this is me my workshop for today. I'm cutting it outside the back because um, I don't want to get all sawdust in there after Sharon cleaned it all up yesterday. Should we need to use it if it gets cold and um, get the fire going? So I'm going to try and keep all the mess out here. Um, but not a bad spot to be working though. Uh, if you remember from quite a while ago. This is how far we got. 
I reckon we're just about halfway. The next lot of insulation is in. Um, it's slow process, the wood's terrible, and I've got to keep packing a lot of these joists out as I go um, because they're all over the place to get it level. So we'll crack on. five or six rows in um, it's hard work I said I keep mowing and it's slow and stretch it up all the time uh, so I need to I, I'm running out of room on my little bench that I've got so I need to start thinking about um, using the ladder so that'll slow it down even more um, but it's getting there nicely it's looking lovely actually with all these problems it is looking really nice um, I need to start thinking about putting the two next lights in as well any second now so um, all good well, another day done on the thinker, almost, apart from feeding the cats, feeding the dogs, walking the dogs, watering all the plants, <laughs> plants. Yeah, and cooking a meal. Um, <laughs> but work-wise, um, yeah, that's us done for the day. Not a massive day, but we've uh, done our first lot of olives. They're nicely cooking in the brine now, so four to six weeks we should be able to enjoy them. Yeah, and we need to keep changing the water yeah. on the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. A bit more but on the ceiling in the Yeah, the sounds like killer stretching up all the time. God, I don't know. It's wrestling them in because they're all curved and stuff. It's not easy, that. But it's getting there slowly. It'll be fantastic when it's done, won't it? I think so, yeah. Yes, it will. Of course it will, yeah. So sometimes it's one of those days where you can't really see what you've done but you've not sat down all day and you feel extremely tired but you think, well what have we actually done today? But we keep chipping away at it, that's the main that's thing. That's all we can do. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as always, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks, yeah. to all, thanks to all for watching. Yeah, thanks to all the people who subscribed. Um, anything else to add? No? I don't think so. We'll have a good you. evening everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.